Hello and welcome back. You aren't gaming with me, Brothgar, and I am doing some weapon crafting here in Loadout. I am expanding on a previous episode I just put up where I created the auto healing turret, which is basically just a beam weapon with a turret and it just kind of heals you throughout the match and it gives you some pros and cons and examples of that actually working out pretty decently. Now I want to expand on this because Darklight commented on one of my videos here that says they put a 1.5x zoom on there, basically just to put a scope on it. And I actually want to figure out if a turret will have extended range with a scope on it. So here we go. We're going to come over to weapon crafting and I'm going to test it out for you and we'll see the results here. So there's Medibroth. That's the weapon I was using. So let's customize it right now. This is my standard setup. It's just stock iron sights. Uh, salt barrel just because I haven't extended on that although sniper is an interesting attachment I will get into that later probably not this video though trigger is full auto and then I upgraded to a heat sink rather than standard because I like to have the extended time that it can heal so coming over to the test range here we are now if I place down my turret over here in such a way that it actually isn't going to see these guys over on the left so I kind of just end up aiming over this way you should notice that it does a whole lot of nothing. Now, I gotta get my guy running over here. He seems to... He does this every once in a while. He just kind of gets stuck in the door. He's, like, checking out this sign, like, PSS214. Yeah, okay, so... We just gotta give him some motivation here. Come on, man, start running. All right. Fine. <laughs> they don't always go as planned here. All right, come on now. Come on. Ah, there he has. He's going. Now he's running. All right, so you see my turret... It's not doing anything at all. It's just kind of AFK, bored, just staring at the ground. So let me go put the scope on. Right now I have recon scope, so that is 680 on top of the very really cheap heatsink. So ultimately this weapon is not very expensive at all. Let's test this out now. I got to kill the turret so I actually, when I respawn it, it will have, you know, the uh, 1.5 zoom on it. And we're going to aim it in that same general direction. Now we should be able to see it pick up and start tracking that character. So right now I have proven that the 1.5 zoom will actually extend the range of the healing weapon here. Now it doesn't do a very good job at tracking moving targets, but there you have it. There is also, let's, yeah, I tell you what, I'm actually going to jump in and I'm going to investigate that sniper rifle attachment. Since we know that this can actually work, and if I place it back here, we'll notice that it's going to be doing some healing as well. And this is a pretty decent range. I mean, if you're over here and this is a flag, there's a good chance that nobody's going to actually turn and shoot at this, which is so far away, because most people aren't going to have a really long range weapon. Or maybe just not being able to think at looking for targets that far away. But we'll, we'll find out. It, it depends on the map, and we're going to test it out here in a little bit. So we saw that doing its thing. Let's check out the sniper attachment. Now, your rate of fire drops, but the amount of healing you do works out pretty good it's kind of weird how beams work but i mean 10 10 points of healing you heal very very quickly with a sniper attachment you do seem to go through a little bit more heat quite quickly so we'll see how this works i mean it's looking pretty legit now it's a lot more expensive but i mean you know from the sake of a cool looking weapon it's it's definitely getting there so let me place this down and see just how much health we actually hit when i place down my turret I'll make sure to top off this running guy so it can stare at somebody else. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to do that. Let me place it lower. All right, so we're still pretty good range away. Not huge, but look at that. All right, so we're getting sevens on that far character. And then we're getting a few sevens and sixes on this near character. A few fives, depending on where we hit. So if we take off the actual sniper barrel and just go to the assault, which has a higher rate of fire and then healing, um, we'll see how this all works out. I'm not so sure how beams are necessarily working damage-wise, but we should be able to find out if this is going to be worth the 2,000 bluets or not real quickly here. So we've placed it in the same location. It seems to be doing fours up to sixes. Spends a little bit longer, but it's really not spending a whole lot of time doing it. And of course, it's still just wasting stuff on moving targets. But you do actually get more health out of the sniper attachment. So if it's worth 2,000 to you, go ahead and do it. I'm going to save those bullets 
for another video that I'm going to be making here tonight. So I'm just going to be running this with the recon scope. So we're going to be extending that range and we're just going to be keeping the assault barrel. So I'm going to save that to my build here real quickly. So let's head on over into some matches and see if we can get that turret really far away and see how effective it is at longer ranges. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Looks like we're going to get a random map. Not sure what kind of game mode we're going to be hitting, but hopefully it's a larger map. It looks like we're going to be playing Fissure at night with a jackhammer mode engaged. That should be pretty cool. Now, I don't really have a good weapon to start off here. Rolling out. Dealing with the enemy as they are. Very good. I'm going to set up my turret right now, see if I can catch some health. Nope, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. It looks like I got a little bit. You can see it doing some work there. Alrighty, I'm going to be catching a lot of baddies. Hopefully I can turn and die. Oh, I was hoping to get the hammer real quick there and just do in the enemy all at once. Did not happen as planned. Alright, so let's see if I can find a good spot for this turret since we are testing ranges. We do see it down there. It's actually probably a pretty good location for it right now. It's going to be hopefully healing somebody as they're trying to come back with the hammer. So I'm just going to leave it for now because I don't want to waste it in another location right off the bat if I if I can help it. So, a lot of people are running shield, so they seem to be doing pretty good here. I've been caught by the fire breathing dude, and he's trying to take out my healing weapon. Oh, but it's not going to work for him. Now, I want to see if I can actually hurt a guy with health. Nope, doesn't seem like I was ever doing any damage to him, but it's good to know. Let's set this up right here and see what kind of damage we can pull down. Come on. Come on, teammates. We kind of got them locked into their base right now. I really could use some health. Come on, buddy. I see your shield. Darn it. Walter Mantism is going to take me out. That fireballs that he's shooting all over the place is really hard to deal with with low health. You can't out DPS him, but he's going to burn you down eventually, and that is very hard to take care of when you just don't have health to begin with. But, get a little elbow, and then back up for some Tesla action. Nope, you ain't running. Sorry, bad. I'll let Walter Mantism actually go here. Place the turret real far. See if I can get in here and do some damage. Come on, turret. Help me out. Oh, I'm getting health out of it. But not enough to be taken on that many enemies. Rats. It is kind of nice. I did notice as I was setting that farther back that it was actually kind of staying out of harm's way. It looks like it's definitely down now, but I mean, that gives you a little bit more range to set things back. So it looks like we're going to be placing that there. I'm going to try to place this here and own the center court if I can. Do some damage to this guy. Lead him in. He's going to be hanging out just long enough. Hello is getting rejuvenated with my nice healing turret. Looks like the hammer carrier also picked up some decent HP. Oh! <laughs> I did him in with my elbow. Shield man's going to take me down, though. Tobacco. Oh, that's Taco Bomber. I was thinking Tobacco Bomber. Yep. Got to read those names real quick. It can be difficult sometimes. They actually have ours, don't they? That's not good. We got two back here defending. I don't want to give this guy an opportunity, though. Oh, triple elbow for the win! All right, so let's play some. Uh, oops. I want to get the healing pod up right now. I want it to be dealt with. Okay. Okay. Do your thing. 
Heal me too. Good, 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 good. Oh, he turned and dealt with it. That's going to give us at least an advantage. Yeah, it seemed to work out regardless. Unfortunately, he did take down the turret, but it was a nice distraction. Never really thought of a turret in that regards, but there you go. That's a nice thought. It can be a decent distraction. Hmm. It was enough to buy us time. We got all the people back here, so we're going to want to... We're gonna want to move out as soon as we can. Hopefully we can pick up their flag real quick. Interesting, seeing that running through the geometry like that. I believe that's a bug. I mean, obviously it looks like it is, but... What are you gonna do about it? Took out Walter Mantism. Not sure what that name's all about, but would have. There he is, he's back already. He now knows I'm here. And then I'm coming for him. I was able to avoid him just now. Oh, here comes the fire breathing guy. Ah, this is where Spoolin's killing me. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to take that guy out so easily. You gotta be able to hit him farther from range. Every time you roll, you have to re spool, and that's just not gonna work out too well for me. A lot of health out of that thing. Let's see if we can actually do pretty good here and move as a twosome down here. Oh, hey, hello! That's not good. It's not good. Two of them are moving up that side. Luckily, we're going to be respawning real quick. We really got to get a point in there. care of that guy. He did take our help, though. Where's he at? And I need his grenades to take these guys down, but unfortunately, I cannot spare losing that turret at the moment. I'm actually going to see if I can sneak around a little bit. Looks like we can distract them on that side and I can go in from the other side and maybe uh, catch him off guard from range. I don't want to get too close to his hammer though, obviously, because then you just die. But here we go. Looks like I'm going to have to get kind of close. <sighs> his buddy's here. Got him with that. Oh, where is he? Where's the... There it is! <laughs> oh, I don't want to reload! Darn it! I accidentally bumped the button on my mouse. Oh, come on. What's going on here? There we go. Good job, team. The enemy has stolen the hammer. What's up? The enemy has dropped. You have returned the hammer. Keep placing this here. Heal me up. Now, this isn't a real extended range. This is just kind of using the healing turret. I kind of wanted to test the extended range aspect to this, but the way this game's turning out, I'm not able to test that as much. I see you setting your minds. It's an interesting tactic, though. I've seen that used several times. Good job. All right. I'm doing a good job of kind of defense and offense. Both teams are actually doing a pretty fair, fair job at this. Looks like two of them are moving in. Um, I got the drop on them. I might as well take them out. What's up? Ooh. 
not sure what caught me. Oh, he got me with a grenade. Uh, okay. Healing weapon's still doing its thing. It's nice for us if we were to get back here. I'm going to place this down. Not there. All right, looks like we've got a fight coming up in the middle here that we have to win. So, I'm going to take care of that. I'll try to let the turret help me out here. Getting a little bit of that extended range. It's down after no time. Enemy did get kind of close to it there. But, we'll actually come in here and see if we can't force ourselves into winning. Darn it. A couple of good grenades took me out. Looks like they're going to be capturing that one. It's not good. Because I don't think we can move fast enough to catch up to him at this point. I'm going to take the right path. See if I can't come back on him here. Oh. The enemy has captured the hammer. All right. Come on, healing turret. Do your thing. The trick is I don't want to move too much. Yeah, look at that range roll. Look at that range go. Oh, yeah. Come on, eat some. Oops. There we go. I got the hammer now. Yeah, I'm gonna move this way. Seems like a better way to go. We're gonna brave the center here. Nope. Ah, really needed that. Got him. Ah, boy. Come on. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, team. Ah, oh, now I'm playing the waiting game. Force him into a tight locale. Looks like we're all over here, though. And this is where it gets kind of boring. Oh, why would he do that? <laughs> why would he come here with the hammer? Oh, you can't be serious. Not sure whose gun I got. Oh, come on. That was so close. <sighs> move, 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 move. Wow. Can't believe that worked. Oh my gosh, come on. It's getting gnarly around here. Getting crazy. We're still in the lead, but... Alright, come on. Come on, team. Come on, team. Take them down. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it out of this one. <laughs> it's going to come down to this. I do have my healing turret. And I know there's... Got it! Oh, good job, team. I'm actually going to place a defensive turret there this time. I know the enemy's in the area. So we're switching it up. Switching tactics now. You have achieved. Yes! Good job! Wow! That was good team play. That's a good game. I love it when loadout games go this way and it's actually like pretty even and really close. It's just a whole lot of fun. Let me give me a little dance there. Yeah! Tesla Pulsa. What up? Bruski. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is kind of the healing turret expanded 
there's no real reason that you shouldn't put a 1.5 zoom on that actual pulsar weapon itself. I mean, there, there's just no disadvantage to it. Let's see what sort of things. Yeah, 350 bullets. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, that is kind of the results there from the test. If you put a longer scope on a weapon and then you place that weapon into a turret, it's going to be able to have a longer range. So there you have it. Results. Good stuff. Also, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button on the way out. That really is going to help me support my content here on YouTube. Also, if you have some sort of weapon or contraption you think would work really good in a turret, make sure to leave that below or just kind of different gun builds themselves. I'm going to be pulling a lot of inspiration from the comments below. So at any rate, thanks for watching. If this is the first video of mine you're actually watching, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the community here because I do this stuff on a very regular basis, and I do a whole lot more than loadout. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Brothgar out.